Guys, Chris here from Andy Mesh, introducing a brand new head from a new old manufacturer on the market. So today we're going to be talking about the Wolf Athletics Recon head, which was made in conjunction with Jewel Lacrosse, who if you guys haven't heard, Jewel is back better than ever, and they have teamed up with Wolf, basically paired up, and are now both working under the Wolf Athletics name. The Recon is this pair's first new head, and although Jewel also manufactured the Ares head, that's really the only similarity between these two. So I've seen a lot of people asking whether there are you know, similarities or differences between this and the Jewel Ares, and there's almost no similarity. The Recon is, is just a slight adaptation of a first class, you know, traditional offset head. It's got a very flat bottom rail. Uh, reminiscent of the Houdini, kind of some of those original brine heads, but that flat section actually extends even further down the head, which gives it a pretty unique feel and energy transfer as the ball travels through the pocket. The cool thing about this head is, so Wolf Athletics is basically, they're only selling this head direct to consumers on their website, and it comes as an $100 head, which, which does seem a little high for a direct to consumer model, but what's cool is they're also including a full string kit with this. So we did change up the shooters and the nylons, but they include four sidewall strings, three shooting strings as well, um, and, and that whole package really makes it more of a bang for your buck. But first let's start with the head and then get into the mesh. As far as aesthetics go, Wolf Athletics knocked this one out of the park. They've got a great mix of matte and gloss finishing. They really don't add too much gloss, which which for some reason always makes a head feel cheaper than it is. But they've got some awesome texture down below. They have some cool little, little aesthetic touches like the Wolf Trident. And as Tom mentioned from Red Star Lax, this little cutout was actually designed to look like a wolf's eye. Uh, they also have a little Wolf Athletic script across the top. Let me take you through those more close up. So right here you can see that Trident and kind of this textured surface area that they have in the few different sections. Here you can see that wolf's eye, which I think is a really cool touch. Really well braced throat. It's got two screw holes, which means it's gonna be super sturdy. I don't have any worries about there being any breaks in the throat. They have a really cool looking straightforward ball stop with the wolf, wolf script, as well as the wolf script, script along the scoop. You can see it does have those little kind of textured sections along the scoop as well, and then this very flat bottom rail, two horizontal scoops with two more kind of arcing uh, going perpendicular to those horizontal scoops at the, at the top of the scoop and also at the bottom by the throwout. As far as the face shape goes, I really like it. It's got a very gradual flare, nothing too extreme, and it's got a pretty solid wide base, so I don't really worry about it pinching too much over time. It really is easy to catch with, but also you still get that kind of nice pinch feel so that it's not it's not a gaping wide defensive head or anything. It's just got a nice overall feel on the ball and control in the pocket. As far as the weight of this head goes, it weighs in, I think, around like 4.8 ounces. I'm going to edit with the correct weight up here once I unstring this thing. I forgot to write down the weight when I weighed it the first time. But it's definitely a light feeling head, nothing too crazy. And especially when you add in the fact that their mesh is 19 grams or 18 or so, my scale isn't too, too precise. Uh, the overall head just feels super light. Whenever you have a super light mesh like that paired up with a head, um, it just feels, it has a really nice lightweight feel and a really nice balanced feel on whatever shaft you put it on. My favorite performance part of the head is the scoop and it really blows the Jewel Airy scoop out of the water. The Jewel Airy scoop was one of my least favorite scoops I've ever used, and this one is actually one of my favorite scoops I've ever used. It does have a little bit of an interesting bounce to it. There's some interesting kind of springy feels to this head that, that can every once in a while mess up a ground ball, but overall, it's got a nice flat profile, and as you can see here, it just it's a vacuum for ground balls. It's really easy whether you're using one hand or two hands, and it just, it, it made ground balls a breeze. It's something that I really think is gonna be a really solid attribute of this head. As far as the way these sidewall struts affect the performance of the head and the bottom side rail, like I said, it's got a very interesting kind of springy feel to it. It's something that a lot of heads that come in and it's been plenty hot here 
at, at the 207 lacrosse facility, a lot of them will come in and kind of feel soft and then we feel it kind of giving as we shoot. But this one, and Derek felt it too, it's got, it's got a nice snap to it. I don't know if this is something that's gonna hold up over time and I hope it does, but it's just got a really nice kind of flex to it in a good way. It's got, it's got that responsivity that we talk about with some of the dragonfly shafts and it almost has that kind of reload effect with the head. So a really cool feel that we're still trying to kind of parse out and figure out what the cause of it is, but I think, I think Wolf did a great job with the sidewall strut placement and it's got a really nice responsive feel. Last thing I'll mention is the stringability. These scoop holes are kind of interesting. They went with this, uh, it's not a trapezoid, but it's like a trapezoid with truncated edges. Uh, and so it's this weird kind of hexagonal shape, but it, it ended up making the, making the uh, scoop strings sit really nicely. That, that top string sat really well. It kind of allows the triangle to sit right on top of it too. So the top strings are really easy. Plenty, plenty of room for uh, a double loop up top, which is something I always look for. Sidewall holes are placed really solidly. What was kind of interesting, I ended up using a full extra diamond with my pattern here, and I'm, I'm gonna string this up with, with some more regular size mesh afterwards because the mesh that does come in this kit is a little bit small. I wouldn't call it a true like original 15 millimeter, but it might be more in that kind of 16, 16 millimeter, I always put quotations there, but more in that 16 millimeter range. So I'm interested to see how it strings up with, with some kind of more standard mesh, but um, everything, you know, it's, it's something you guys are gonna have a ton of fun stringing this head, and I think, I think it's gonna be something you really like. As far as where the pocket placement of this head sits, what's interesting with these flat side rails is they kind of are deceiving as to where the ball might sit. Because of the face shape, that's what's going to influence where the, the pocket naturally sits in this head more so than the, than the side rail. And it does sit kind of like a nice true mid. That flare starts right about at that middle point of the head. So it's not going to sit too high. But like I said, I think you guys are going to have a ton of fun me messing around with the placement of, of the pocket here. And I think it's going to be something that allows for a lot of different pocket placements. Although it's not quite as conducive to my style of kind of mid low pocket. I think it's something that a lot of you guys are going to really like. Overall impressions, we're gonna start up a, a new numerical scale at some point, but right now I'd probably call this an eight, eight and a half head. It's something that I don't think fits my style quite as much because I love those kind of mid-low pockets. I love the Maverick optic and stuff like that. So it isn't necessarily up my alley, but I really do think seeing the, the sticks you guys string on Instagram and stuff, I think this is gonna be a head that you guys really like. So a lot of people tend to like pockets nowadays that are slightly higher than mine, but um, I think it's really gonna be right up your alley and is definitely worth checking out. Overall, this is a really solid head. I think it's something you guys are gonna like a lot, like I said, and I think it's really cool that Wolf Athletics is including the full string kit with the head. I know STX has done a little bit of that, but it's something that I think is gonna be more and more popular down the road, and I just think it's a cool way to get you guys a lot of product for a little bit less money. So make sure you guys check it out. I'm gonna include a link to their website down in the bio below. Thanks to Wolf for sending me this bad boy over. And also, please check out my next review where I review the string kit a little bit more in detail because it's something that's a really unique option as well. So, thanks so much guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in. Yeah, yo. She put the CD in and said there is a gather at the Bible just to know that I'm the Yamajita.